Oh, hey there. College isn't what you think it is. Hey guys, it's X Lizandria X and I used to make content on Instagram, but now I've switched over to YouTube and the type of content I like to make are vlogs, talking videos, TV show commentary, and movie commentary. If you're new here, subscribe down below. And if you're not new here, welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I am going to be talking about college isn't what you think it is because right now I am in the middle of exam week. Not really in the middle, but definitely the, the thunder before the storm week, you know, right now. The week needs to finish out and then tomorrow, not tomorrow, but next week is literally like exam week. It's just a lot of the professors are just telling students, yeah, make sure you prepare for your exam. Some professors aren't even giving exams. It's just a huge project that you have to do that is a part of your exam. But today, as I'm winding down my first semester of college, I specifically go to community college. I want to sit here and tell you guys, college isn't what you think it is. It's not. Um, the entire time being in college, I have had thoughts and thought to myself, well, you know, maybe, you know, when I get to school, like literally like before the summer ended, I was just looking so up for college. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to have so much fun. But apparently that was not the case, especially me speaking from a community college student's um, perspective. If you want to like talk to somebody who goes to a university go watch another video as to that i don't know who to refer to you because i don't subscribe to that many youtubers who are in college right now but one youtuber i guess you can say is jayla amaris um she goes to a t so if you want to if you're interested in the hbcu life definitely go subscribe to her channel um, I really love how, what she's doing at a and She recently started an organization called Abstinent Adolescence where basically they just, um, they're promoting abstinence on the campus and you know, ba but maybe not just promoting it, but trying to find a community of people who are also abstinent for, on the campus. It could be because you're Christian or it could literally just be, you know, to basically the most easy easiest way i guess to practice safe sex so if you are watching this video and you go to a t make sure you check out the club and definitely subscribe to jayla amaris's channel i'll leave her link linked down below and somewhere up here in the um cards above guys i know where to point now i know exactly where to point up here in the cards i got it right <laughs> so jayla if you're watching this video girl i love you we need to meet up because i also live in north carolina but I don't live in Greensboro, but I also live in NC. So if you want to meet up, we can make it happen. If you want a university student standpoint, definitely do that. But I basically am really going to be talking from a community college student standpoint today. So yeah, basically with that, being a college, like I really thought it was gonna be our rainbows and sunshines you know how everybody is like performative fakeness on the internet when it comes to college students and how the college life is i know i knew with community college it was going to be a different ball game because you're not living on campus you're simply driving there every single day going to your classes and leaving and with me it has been really hard because i have not made any friends on campus this semester I know that's sad I literally go to school I go to the class and I go home <laughs> like I don't talk to anybody on the campus um like I don't I literally don't talk to anybody like I know some like I know like there's some people that went to my school like my high school that go to that campus but they don't know me and they kind of just I kind of walk past them I know who they are but I know for sure they have no idea who I am which is always weird because I kind of wish that they didn't know who I was. So I'd be like, hey, how you doing? Literally yesterday, there was some kid that went to my high school. He parked right beside me. And I'm like, dang, it's, su it's such a shame that he doesn't even know who I am. But I know who he is. <laughs> like, uh, but I do only kind of like, kind of speak to one person on campus. Just, just one. We kind of just wave at each other. We're like, hey, how you doing? You know, we kind of just wave. And that's it. We may conversate 
but it's on a rare occasion. But other than that, like anybody in and the person also went to my high school as well, so that's kind of how we conversate. But other than that, I'm gonna be honest. I have not met anybody new. I'm not friends with anyone on that campus. I don't talk to anybody on that campus. I don't look at anyone on that. Like I'm telling you, right now, I don't speak to anybody. Like a couple weeks ago, I did tell this girl in one of my classes that I like her voice. My sister told me that was weird. But guys, if I like, so I'm gonna compliment you in the way when I told her that I, I liked her voice it literally lit up her face it made me the happiest person that day so she was like oh, really like it just it oh. guys be kind to people because you never know what someone could be going through so yeah but I'm not even really talking about college in this video basically just kind of talking about my experiences so far and I guess I can say I kind of hate it I kind of want to drop out <laughs> like I just I feel like no but this time I'm not I'm seriously not joking I hate school like I'm not even joking for this time I'm not joking I hate school I don't like it I don't like going there I don't like my it's not that I don't like my classes or anything I now one of my classes I don't like it's just the work and having to put in time and take time out of your day to do work that you don't want to do like I'm gonna be honest right now I'm probably supposed to be studying for an exam and I'm not doing that probably supposed to be doing a project right now and I'm not doing that probably supposed to be reading a chapter in a book and I'm not doing that I'm instead making this video like there's I feel like in college there's never enough time in the day to literally do anything that you feel like you just like even when you actually discipline yourself because I know there's a college student out there right now who's just like me hating their work but even when there comes a time when you're like okay it's time to sit down and do the work you eventually like you're doing the work but it's like so much work that you feel like you only did like two percent of out of the 100 percent of the work that you have to do like it felt like you you didn't even leave a dent like that's how little it feels like because you just have work on top of work on top of work every time when i go to work my manager always asks me he's like what do you mean you're busy what do you mean you're tired i'm like i have like literally i have to do school work all the time like I feel like there's like something I always have to do like with school like there's always an assignment that has to be due like I've literally never had like whoo I am good to go I am free I don't have no school work that I have to like literally every single day there's something that has to be done and I do it or sometimes I attempt to do it and then instead watch a YouTube video end up watching maybe you know some Raven Lee's or some Joe Bartolozzi, you know, like I'll end up watching another YouTuber because I'm just like, it's like, like, cause sometimes it's now getting to the point in the school where I don't care. Like it's just starting to get so close to the end of the semester to the point where I really just don't care anymore. And I'm like, you can't be serious. <laughs> like I'm like, you can't be serious. I don't care. Like I don't care to do anything because especially now because school has really stressed me out i know every college student right now community or you know university i know everyone has had a quarter life crisis mental breakdown and don't know what to do with their life at this point going to school i thought you know growing up i thought i go to a university or community college i graduate and i if i went to the community i would move over to the four year and then I graduate from there start my career you know maybe meet, meet a nice guy and maybe you know get married to him and have kids and and my kids have kids and I become a grandma and I die happy that didn't happen instead I'm stressed out mental I had a mental breakdown and I don't even know what to do with myself and questioning myself did I even want to go to the school in the first place or am I trying to meet up to everyone's expectations of what they want me to be? You know, because there's many times where we think, like, is school really for me? There's been so many college students have, that have come across on this platform and has probably talked about the same thing that I'm talking about right now. Is school even for me? I'm here to tell you that if you know school is not for you, it's okay. You can drop out. And that's something, but sometimes that is something some of y'all don't want to do because it's either money or your parents are really counting on you to really continue to school because either A, 
they never went to college and you're a first generation college student and they really want you to do the best B they're really strict parents who went to college and they want you to go to college too to kind of follow in their footsteps or C they just want you to go to school because you're not going to be sitting up in the house not going to school or doing work so that's why sometimes it's kind of hard in to like kind of talk to your parents and sit down with your parents and be like look I don't like school and I kind of want to drop out like I feel like that's why so many people remain in school because of their parents sometimes some people remain in school because you know even though they don't like it it's because of the career that they want to go in that they like not the schooling some people don't like school people stay in school not because of that it's because of their parents and now they're like okay now you're in a dilemma where you have no idea what you want to do in with your life. I thought I like I literally thought I had my entire life figured out. And when I got to college, I figured out that I don't have my life together. I don't have my life figured out. I'm wasting money on gas all the time going back and forth to that school every single day. I really don't care about. So, I just want to end this video on a note saying that college is not what you think it is. You'll definitely learn a lot about yourself than what you'll ever learn about yourself. Like, literally, when you were in high school, what you knew about yourself last year, it's not you now. Like, you don't, you're just, like, rediscovering yourself as a person and what you want in life. Because I'm definitely rediscovering myself as a person and definitely what I want to do in my life. Because I really, I'm really starting to learn that maybe school might not actually be for me. And y'all, I might not even go back next semester. <laughs> editing Lusandria I am in fact going back next semester that's what all I have to say for this video if you really like this video like comment share and subscribe especially subscribe and I hope that you have a good day bye